Roses come in all colors of the rainbow. Each color depends on the species. Dendobri people, mga lords, mga lodi, at mga ka-earthlings. A sunny flowery morning. And just as you see in my background, we are in a mini rose garden somewhere here in Huzu. They are a common sight around almost everywhere, anywhere. In parks, in gardens, in sidewalks, in shops, in your backyard, in your front yard, and anywhere you want them to be in your home. And so, come join us find out what's interesting with these plants and get stuck into this fun facts about roses. The rose is a type of flowering shrub that belong to the family of plants called Rosaceae. Roses are one of the oldest flowers with archaeologists discovering rose fossils that date back around 35 million years. Rose is the most popular flower in the world followed by the other flowers such as chrysanthemums, tulips, lilies, poinsettias, narcissus, and the list goes on. All roses were originally wild and they come from several parts of the world like the North America, Europe, Northwest Africa, and many parts of Asia and Oceania. There are only three flowers mentioned by name in the Bible and the rose is one of them. The first ever reference the Bible makes to the rose is in the Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 1, in which there says, I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valleys. As for the biblical reference, the rose of Sharon symbolizes beauty, it is used in the book of Song of Solomon to describe the beauty of King Solomon's lover. And as for the biblical significance, the rose of Sharon is not truly a rose. Jesus Christ is called the rose of Sharon in Christian works because of the similarities between the plant and Jesus Christ. During the Roman period, roses were grown extensively in the Middle East. They were used as confetti at celebrations, for medicinal purposes, and as a source of perfume. Roman nobility established large public rose gardens in the south of Rome. The famous Cleopatra of Egypt was believed to have covered the floor of her palace room with roses before Mark Antony visited her. In Greek mythology, it is said that the rose bushes grew from the ground from the tears Aphrodite, the goddess of love, cried in the blood of her beloved Adonis. The Romans who turned Aphrodite into the goddess Venus kept the rose as her symbol of love and beauty as well. During the 15th century, at around 1455 to 1485, the factions fighting to control England used the rose as a symbol. The white rose represented York and the red represented Lancaster. The conflict between these factions became known as the War of Roses. According to information, the oldest living rose is around 1,000 years old and it grows on a wall on the Heiligheim Cathedral in Germany. It survived being bombed in World War II, though it has been nearly destroyed a number of times throughout the history. In these days, the base is protected by an iron fence. In 1998, a rose named Overnight Sensation was sent into orbit on the Discovery Mission STS-95 making it the first rose to go into the outer space. Bakit siya nakarating sa space? It was taken by U.S. astronauts into space on an October 1998 discovery flight to evaluate the effects of microgravity on the plant. This rose is noted for the strong fragrance of its blooms and it features medium pink blooms and matte green foliage. It has very few thorns and blooms usually from May to August.
wild roses only bloom once a year and are naturally pollinated by insects. There are approximately 13,000 identifiable varieties of roses throughout the world. There are over 300 species of roses and tens of thousands of cultivars. These are the cultivated or hybrid roses. The flowers of most species of rose have five petals, except for the species Rosa cerisia, which has only four. A large number of petals is a result of mutation, and it can be seen in cultivated roses. Size of rose depends on the species, and the flower can reach from 1.25 to 84 centimeters in diameter. The tallest ever recorded rose bush is about 23 feet tall. The cultivation of roses most likely began in Asia around 5,000 years ago. It wasn't until the late 18th century that cultivated roses were introduced into Europe from China. Did you know that the leading country in exporting roses is Holland or the Netherlands? They use 8,000 hectares of land to cultivate roses. On the other hand, Netherlands is also famous for tulips. We usually call the sharp spikes on the stem of a rose bush thorns, but these are in fact technically prickles. They look like hooks which facilitate bonding to the other plants and protects the stem from herbivores. Roses come in all colors of the rainbow. Each color depends on the species, and they can be found in different shades of white, yellow, pink, burgundy, violet, orange, and red. Blue and black roses do not exist. A black rose is not actually black, but it is very dark red. And to make blue roses, it is necessary to borrow the delphinidin gene from another kind of flower and split it into the genes of the rose. The rainbow rose is a genuine rose with highly attractive colors. Each rose petal has one of the colors of the rainbow, and so, with her seven different colors, this rose sets the imagination on fire. You may have seen these colorful roses in a bouquet, but finding them in a plant, that's another conversation. The colors we see in any rainbow rose is artificially induced into its petals to create a rainbow effect. So in short, it doesn't exist. No natural rose can form petals with multiple flowers. Each color of the rose symbolizes a certain value. A blue rose represents mystery or the impossible. Red rose is a symbol of love and are popular on Valentine's Day and at weddings. White roses often represent purity, innocence, and usefulness. Sometimes named bridal roses, they can also symbolize love, loyalty, and a new beginning. The pink rose is often a symbol of humanity with a brighter pink color also conveying gratitude and a lighter pink conveying joy. Yellow roses have come to represent friendship, joy, and caring. But in Victorian history, yellow roses symbolize jealousy. Orange roses represent enthusiasm, burgundy of beauty, and violet of royalty. Roses are best known as ornamental plants grown for their visual appeal along with the scented foliage. Rose petals are edible and can be eaten raw, dried or soaked to create rose water. Rose flower along with its beautiful appearance has got medicinal uses too. It is said to be antiseptic, antioxidant, and is a rich source of vitamins A, B3, C, D, and E. Rose water also relaxes the tension of nerves and reduces the swelling of capillaries beneath the skin. 
rose oil is an important ingredient in the perfume industry. It is perfect ingredient for perfume production. Extraction of minimal amount of this oil requires a huge amount of roses. One gram of oil is produced from 2,000 roses. The nice scent of the rose comes from microscopic perfume glands on the petals. The Rose Valley in Bulgaria is famous for its rose growing industry which have been cultivated there for centuries and which produces 85% of the world's rose oil. Roses also grow a small berry shaped fruit called rose hip which can be red, orange, dark purple or even black which are a rich source of vitamin C and are sometimes made into jam, jelly, or brewed for tea. Rose syrup can be made by adding sugar to rose water. Roses can be attacked by powdery menju, a fungal disease that leaves grayish white, powdery growth all over the stems, flower buds, and flowers. It is one of the most common foliar diseases of roses. The white powdery fungal growth can be very disfiguring with repeated heavy infection, reducing plant strength. High humidity is preferable for infection and plants growing in areas where air movement is poor or the soil is dry can be severely affected. Cultural techniques play an important role in minimizing the outbreaks and fungicides are also available if required. Roses can also be attacked by a different fungal disease called rose black spot, where the purple or black spots develop on the lips which make it turn yellow and fall off. Black spot is the most serious disease of roses. Roses can even be affected by rose rust in the summer months. It is specific to roses and appears in spring and persists until the leaves fall. Rose rust is the least serious of the common rose diseases. Roses can suffer with aphid infestation and be attacked by leaf cutter bees and the best known as the rose so fly. So flies are in the same group of insects as bees, ants, and wasps. Alright, it's time to shout out. Pero hindi ko nakukuhanan yung mukha ko ah. At ako'y pinagpipinginan na ng mga tao dito. Kanina pa ako, dalbal ng dalbal mag-isa sa phone. Kala siguro ng mga tao dito, nakalasan na ako ng tornillo. Shout out to the most wonderful and amazing rose I've ever known, my Mama Rosa. Also, shout out to the following wonderful girls and roses who are great content creators maybe Razan of Evil or Delight Sir Freddy of FBB Stages Karaman and the Bruno Buldo Rambo, Rambi and the rest of the characters in the gang Johan Danica of Fun Ravishing Ito, favorite ng anak ko Tristan Dumo And now to the roses Ambit Rose of Ambit Community Mina Rose of Mina Miguel, Atilin ng Hava Safe Trip Adventures, Rupi Rose, Mamshi Monica Sheila of Calix Adventures, Hugs for Little Calix, Crix Rose of Crix Famous 21, Joanna Rose of Joanna Anna Channel, and Anne of Ansaya Vlogs. So kung meron man pong maiwan, don't you worry, marami pa po tayong susunod na biyahe. I hope you had fun learning about roses. See ya!